such a gift, you know, like there's never a time in my life that I thought I would get so lucky as to be able to travel the world and go to all these different cities and countries and meet the people who play the game, which makes such a difference for voice actors, you know, especially because it's a very solitary art, typically. But no, I get to actually see and meet not only the people who play the game, but I get to see how they're affected by the game and that means the world. Of course it makes me happy. I'm so glad that I get to contribute to that. It's always a pleasure as an actor, as an artist, when you're able to combine like making a living to something that respects your values and this totally does so that's great. It's also a little sad to me because as much as I'm happy that Overwatch exists, I'm like, why do we need Overwatch this much, you know? Like community used to be, used to have another meaning. So it's great that we, that it, that we have this. And also I'm like, where has our, where have our co physical communities gone, you know? We're all very lucky on Overwatch because each character has such a deep backstory. Um, and so complex. So it leaves a lot of room to talk about their story, the story of those characters. And I find that most people relate, let's say, to Widowmaker in a very intimate way because they've gone through similar things that she's gone through as well. I mean, differently, of course, because no one gets like kidnapped and brainwashed into becoming the world's best sniper. But her story of loss, her story of um, not allowing herself to have any emotions, being a fighter, being, you know, having to be strong. I think a lot of people relate to that. And sometimes people ask me about, like, the fact that she's a woman and, you know, like, um, how it, is it helping the female community? And probably it is, but the truth is that I'm even happier that men or women are able to relate to her, that she's just a relatable human beyond being either a woman or a man. I think that's really cool. What I love about conventions is what I told you in the beginning, that I love to get to meet the people who were intimately affected by our work. Because it's unimaginable, really. You know, I'm an actress, I go into a booth, I see one sound engineer and one artistic director and I say lines and then I leave. And I just go about my life. And it would really take, it would really require a huge stretch for me to imagine how that impacts the lives of people who need the game and, and play it. And that's what conventions have brought me, that I'm, I'm seeing the effect that it has, not just as um, entertainment, not just in its uh, entertaining potential, but kind of also as its healing potential. Yeah. I get to meet the people who have connected through the game, the people who got married thanks to the game. Like, it's just kind of endless. And yeah, it's... It's huge. Just always be kind to one another. No one knows what's going on in, other, in another person's life, uh, especially when there is a screen in the middle of us. And let's just not forget that we're all humans and doing our best.